Okay, as you can see, this is kind of big for me right now. Uh, it's an 18 by 24 gallery wrapped, almost one and a half inches uh, side, really it's one inch. Um, I have been wanting to do over this painting for a while. I This is this painting's about a year old. Nobody was really into it um, when I posted it. It just didn't really, I didn't, I didn't even like it myself. So uh, it's getting painted over. I am doing my white marble flip cup. Uh, what it is, is I inject the paint down into one solid color instead of layering the paint in, into the cup. Uh, I'm only using a few colors today. There is a little bit of this uh, acrylic pearless mixing medium in the white uh, artist loft today that I'm using for the base, uh, for the main color. And then I have this Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pewter Color. I really love this color. Um, and that is right there. And then I have the 24 karat gold deco art satin. Uh, sorry, it's not satin, it's just metallic. <laughs> and then I have this color shift. Um, it's called white flash. It has a little bit of a purple hue to it. And I have that mixed with a little bit of the silver. And then I have just the silver by itself. I'm not sure if I'm using this yet. I probably will. And um, this is going to be a flip cup, and we'll see how it goes. And I hope that when I turn it, you can still see it in the camera view. My camera is up there real high right now. In fact, it might even be crooked, so I think I'm going to have to fix that before I start. All right. Hopefully, I don't make too much of a mess, and I'm going to get ready to do this. realizing now that one of my push pins oh dear god is actually broken um, and that's why you always level your painting so I will have to stick a stick on the bottom of that that's fine all right so I didn't want to do a base layer I just wanted to do two puddles that didn't work out I don't know why I changed my mind all of a sudden but I don't care that this is all lumpy. I'm gonna blow this out a little bit to try to even it and we'll see what happens. Okay, here are my two flip cups. I'm gonna try to do the colors similar to each other so that, ooh, that is thick. Um, the two flip cups are similar. I think I actually have probably way too much paint for this. Now that I put an entire base coat, I probably have too much paint down. That is it. You can just barely see them in there. Um, I have the urge to put more gold, but I'm gonna control it. So I'm gonna do one. Yeah, this is definitely too much paint. I am gonna do one flip cup here. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. A lot of bubbles. I 
I already love this area right here and this area right here. Unfortunately, the way this goes, I'm probably gonna pour that part off. Yeah, probably. Let's see if I cannot do that. Mm. No, let me start this way. So it's more subtle than I wanted it to be. So I'm not going to scrape it, but I'm definitely going to add to it. Yes. I know I didn't pick a really contrasting color, so I kind of thought maybe this was going to happen. Originally I had copper going in it and I kind of wish I had now done that, but that's okay. I have a solution. I hope. Trying to decide if I'm gonna pour it or if I'm gonna flip it over. I think I'm gonna pour it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just giving a quick stir. That's how I used to do it a long time ago before I did any of this. So I'm gonna go along this line here.
lost the push pin. Oh man. That is such a bummer when that happens. Oh, such a bummer. stretch it that way I really do but I'm worried about the whole push push pin situation on that side yeah, that's, that's all I can do all right well I will show you the dried results Hopefully, this painting survives having three and a half push pins. 